Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shelley is. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring what me, your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. Y'all, today, 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 your girl is eating her some mm, good old deliciousness. Y'all heard me? You see what she got here? Some fried catfish and some shrimp fried rice. Yes, y'all, there's some leftovers that I had from CN Seafood. That's what it is. All it is. Some leftover, and I added me some sweet peppers right here. Sweet mini peppers. I have some water, water on day. This is all it is, is ice water chai. Got my little house sauce here. My uh, Junkanoo. Junk That's what it is. Walker, Walker, Walker Sword. Seriously hot Jamaica sauce. That's what it is. on a little bit, y'all. I said, let me go and finish that on off. Let me, your girl, get through with that. But y'all, I'm going to have to burp. I need something else, too. So I got me like this imitation Coca-Cola. Not Coca-Cola, but Coca-Cola is what it is. It's mixed with you. See how y'all can't see? It's so thin. It's a light brown and a light. So I added water to it, child. So I put that right there. So y'all let me pray over the food and my drink because I, I am hungry. Child, I'm hungry. And we're going to get to chowing down and talking a little bit. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, God, for this food and drink that you have placed before me. I pray, oh God, that it will be nutritious to my body, bring me nutrients, and that it will not cause any hurt, harm, or danger to me in any way. In the holy and mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Yes. How y'all doing, Lee Shelley? Is. What y'all doing? How y'all feeling? What y'all eating on, snacking on, gripping on, on today, today, today? Hunty, hunty, boo-boo, chai, honey, chai. What y'all eating on? Let me get some of this here. Hot sauce. I need some hot sauce. Your girl needs some hot sauce. Woo, child. Got to hit it. Y'all, this, this fish right here got bones in it, boo-boo. It got some bones in it. And we got to be showing up kill for honey. Yeah, I think that's all. All this him. That's it. That's all on that one, child. Whatever works, Lee Shillians. Whatever work. Y'all know the daily yo. Shoot, y'all know better than us. We learn from y'all for the most part. Well, I know I do, child. Because I don't know at all, honey. I ain't to be out in the mm -mm. Let me start with this first. They say start with your protein first. Always start with your protein. Always say your prayer. Hmm. I forgot to offer y'all some. Hmm. This y'all some, boo boo. Y'all, I'm sure I'm gonna shrink. My mama got me. Y'all say, hey, Miss Mary. Oops. Child, child, I'm about to follow. Mama got me this shirt, y'all. It's so cute. <laughs> That's why I got this hair scarf for my head. That's why I got it. And I'm back, y'all. Child, that chair was giving me some trouble. Mm. The bone over here. Yeah, I'm hungry, too. My rice kind of kind of dried out. Yeah, my eyebrows are still healing. In case y'all wondering, what's that on her eyebrow? It's still healing, y'all. I ain't want to say it while we're eating our food. Mm.
Y'all, y'all remember I got my eyebrows macro bladed when I was on vacation about, about three weeks to a month ago now. And it takes six weeks to heal. So, I think the very first Wednesday in August is when I go back. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. For real, for real. Mm. Seriously, y'all. So, y'all, I was watching. Oh, y'all didn't sweep. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, y'all. Your girl needed a squeeze right there. Now, this is water here. so cold. Oh yes, honey. First of all, today is the 4th of July. Well, tonight. So y'all gonna hear all that? Y'all hear all that pop, y'all? Boom, crackle and pop. In the background, at what you hear? Sound like guns to me, you heard me. So, Even though this ain't coming out to, I don't even know. It might be out two days after, a week after, or two weeks after. I don't know, child. But just know what you hear at the time of this recording. You know, you heard me. You feel your girl. It is 4th of July. Yeah. It ain't midnight yet. Y'all was late. Cause I'm hungry. Uh, we did some videos earlier. Well, I did some earlier. My husband did one earlier. Yeah, I probably see that one way before, way before this one. I'm in the background. Helping my baby on. Mm. He haven't recorded in so long by himself. He lost his way. But how y'all like his new character, Jamaican Mac? No, what is called? Nigerian Mac and Puerto Rico, Puerto Rican Mac. Y'all already know Bernie Mac. Even though he never tried to be Bernie Mac because he, when we came on, a, to, on the tube, everybody just said, he sounded like Bernie Mac and he looked like him. And he really do, but he was never trying to, you know, pass that persona of Bernie Mac, the late Bernie Mac. He wasn't. It just seemed like that. It just sounded like that. And so, even people at our church, and his family called him Bernie Mac. But we know he's not Bernie Mac, y'all. Bernie Mac is not him.
you know, mm -mm. my husband knows that he's not a natural comedian, but he is funny. He is. He is. But he ain't trying to make no career out of it. He not. Mm -mm. Amazing. Yeah, I know I love Lucy. I might get come up with me a character. I came up with her name. I said her name's gonna be what I said. Um Yeah, y'all know what I do with y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all. I'll let y'all y'all know. Y'all give me some ideas and some characters, maybe who I could be. But something positive and funny that people can relate to. But he did a good job for me. What y'all think? Well, he did that wipe me down, wipe me down, wipe me down, wipe me down, wipe me down. We know we late. Or oh, he know he late, but I asked him, I asked him to do that for me. Because he loves rotisserie chicken. I sure was going to do it. Give me too much chicken. Too much. And I don't really like baked chicken like that. I don't know why. But his chicken was good. After he poured all that Texas pig on there, man, I took him in the pig. I said, woo, woo. Right before this video, I said, man, that's good. So he just did it. He just did his video. Just did it. But yeah, I was watching my girl. Do y'all know her? Welcome back to Polly's World. Polly's World. Always remember, love is something kind. Love is kind. And you're always on my mind. P -p -p Polly's World. P -p -p Polly's World. Yeah, I love her channel. Shout out to you, sis. I love her channel. You know, she looks like she's about in my range of of maturity, you know, of sassiness, you know. And I just love her accent. You know, her beautiful husband. Is it Paul? I think it's Paul. And her beautiful daughter. Is it Paula David? Oh, Lord, please, Lord. I think it's Paula. Well, don't quote me. I'm sorry, sister, if I'm saying your husband's name wrong. Like her beautiful daughter. They look just alike. Exact Polly's world. This Polly is caramel color. And her daughter is like vanilla color. They both are so beautiful. They look just alike in the face. Oh my gosh. She reminds me of my grandma, my, my late grandmother by the face. Oh my gosh. I just love it. But I was watching her, her video the other day. And it said, drama in the parking lot. I said, oh, my goodness. What my girl done done? What did have happen? What did, what is going on with my girl, Miss Polly? What drop? What drama? What happened? What did it, what it be? What drama? What drama? In the parking lot? I'm like video. It's not Perry. <laughs> Maybe I can be a character. Sometimes person act like Tyler Perry, my dear child. Because I can be dramatic when I want to, child. <laughs> Anywho, Lady Bull Polly said she was going to go get her some food, baby. She was going to the little restaurant. It looked like her food. Look, it was like, like the food I had from the, um, from the, uh, not Love Birds here in Houston, but it's called the. God, oh, cool, cool running, y'all. That Jamaican place my husband and I went to some videos back. Baby, that food looked good in her place. I don't know if it was soul food, Jamaican food, Dominican food, Colombian food. I don't know. But that food looked so good to me in that place. Child, and I love to watch her eat, child. But she was saying that she was in the parking lot of this particular restaurant. And at first I thought, I watched the video, I think a couple of times because I thought she said initially she was in a grocery store, but mm -mm, she was in a 
I want to say the parking lot of the restaurant where she's going to get her lunch from. And it was a lady, and I'm assuming she us, but child, she might not have been. I don't know. She didn't. I don't think she specified that, so let me not specify either. So Lady Bud Polly say that she was, you know, trying to just get into the restaurant. She was trying to find her a place to walk. I mean, to park. But the Lady Bud was coming out of the restaurant, and she had three restaurants. Well, I don't know if it's a restaurant, or it had like a, you know how a strip center, y'all? The strip center has like a restaurant. It may have a... Um, you know, different like little little stores around it, but maybe I have a wig, a wig store or whatever. So but she, I think she said Ladybug, the lady was coming out and she only had three little bags. So I don't know if it's bags from the restaurant or bags from a grocery store, you know, in that little area. I don't know. I can't remember. And so she only had three little, she said three little, three, three little scrawny bags she only had. I love her accent, y'all. And so, so Ladybug saw the woman coming to her car. I was, obviously, she finna go. I mean, most people would assume that. Even though I have gone to my car, put my groceries up, and then gone back in if I've forgotten something, you know. So, you know, we don't know. But, Polly was in her car, you know, looking for a parking spot. And so, what I can think, I think Polly said, the woman saw Polly, you know, waiting right there. And Polly was waiting to see where the woman was going to. To see what, what car she's going to, whether it's in the front, middle, or the end. Or what, you know, yeah, I know how we do. I do that same thing. And so, so when, the, when the woman saw that Polly was trying to wait for a parking spot, Polly said, well, she gestured to her, you know, like, you know, you want to park here? You know, I, just, I, you know how they, I don't know if Polly, when it was raised down or whatever, but made a gesture to Miss Polly, like, do you want to live here? I mean, I live here, park here, or whatever. I went in this spot, and Polly said, yeah, or whatever. Confirm that she would, you know, she coming out, yeah. Okay. So Polly say, I want to say she put her stuff up. I had to watch it again, make sure I understood. She put her bag up now. The like Polly say, y'all, I could be so wrong. Y'all gonna check out my girl Polly's world. It's gonna say park a lot of drama in thumbnail, okay? But let me care, continue on. What well, I think she say, and that. Somehow or another, the lady got out the car, been put stuff up, maybe her cart or whatever. Who knows? Y'all know how we go put our grocery stuff first and we push the cart. Which everybody don't do that. But I push my cart back, you know, in the little thing where the carts go, you know, the shopping carts or whatever. And so, and then, so Polly just waiting, you know, wait for her to come on out. Wait for her to, you know, stuff a car and come on out. She already had the three scrawny little bags, Polly say. And what about the car? Whether she's by herself, no kids, no husband, no distractions or whatever. So Paula said she's just waiting. She oh she just waiting. Tick 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 tick. Not that she rushes. Not that she's impatient. She waiting. You know she waiting for the woman to come on out. Paula say that she said the woman. She saw the woman after after so many minutes when she see the woman then bag out. That she just uh she saw the woman just sitting there. No phone to her ear. Wasn't moving her head or, or, or making a motion that she was talking to anybody. Just sitting there. What about the car with her? Remember, she said, well, I heard her say that. What about the car with her? No kids or nothing. Just sitting there. No phone to her ear. She's like, just sitting there. So, Polly wondered to herself, now, what in the world is going on? You know, you know, she, well, she looked like she was okay. Didn't look like she have no seizure or nothing like that. Y'all, the reason why I say that is because one time, sidebar, I was uh, driving uh, in Houston somewhere. So years ago, years ago, and I saw, um, I wasn't even married then, y'all. It was a really long time ago. And I saw a, a Caucasian gentleman on the medium, in the middle of the road, on the actual medium where the grass is. He's like having his car was on the medium, and he was having a seizure. He was having a seizure. And I, I can see, well, he was an older guy, too. You can tell he was a white, a white person. I slowed down. I started to go back around because I was so, that had my heart racing so, so fast, y'all. And I realized that he was having a seizure. And I saw people walking, you no, know, people by that time was looking over their fence and they was walking toward him to help him or whatever. But he was literally having a seizure. He was doing like this. And he was in the car by himself, you know. And that, that scared the heck out of me, man. Like, wow. I was so nervous, y'all. I didn't like that at all. I just did not. And I think I turned around, but by that time, people were already going to him, you know. Ooh, Lord, that scared me. So I say that to say that the lady, according to Polly, she was just sitting there, you know, because, you know, she wasn't having, unless she, had a, unless she was having a, some type of attack and Polly couldn't tell. But Paul said, no, that wasn't what it was, sis. That wasn't what it was, at least y'all she say. 
She said, because as soon as she was wondering why the woman just, the woman exed up. She said, the woman exed up she went to spot. And Polly said, yeah, she did. If she was coming out now, if she wasn't coming out, why wouldn't she have said, well, I'm not coming out right now. And Polly said, I would have went on my way, went on around and found something else. Polly said, at the, by the time she got to wait for the woman to come on out, and she had to put up three scrawny little bags in the car already or whatever. She waited for about, maybe about 10 minutes probably, and the woman never came. She just went on ahead and left. You know, like that, and this is some, I'm saying this, that, that was some bullshit right there. And say that as soon as she went around to look for another parking space, probably say, then she go, yawn and she go bagging out. Child, child, that would have irritated me too, child, sister, sister, boo. Because I'd have had that happen to me too. It's like, it seemed like, and I'm not saying that would it be, and I think sometimes it do be that. But everybody probably not that, no, they probably had the reason why they're sitting there. Because I know when I get uh, out the grocery store, I might have to look at a text. I might want to do something right quick on my phone or whatever. You know, but if I see somebody waiting on me, then if, if I've already said, and it's already known that they want to park there, I'd have had a kind of, some type of understanding, some type of communication that they want to pack there. I ain't finna do that, child. If I got to do something on my phone, I'm going to politely get out that way, out that parking spot, and go on somewhere else and park. I don't care if it's in the same parking lot. And then continue on what I'm doing. I ain't even just sit there knowing the good way I had communication with this lady, whoever she is, or this man, whoever he is, and, and I let them know, or they let me know, they want to park there. Child, what is wrong with people these days? What is wrong with people these days? I mean, what is going on? That's just, just dirty to me. Like, you just mean-spirited and evil for no reason, sis. And then you're a female like that. Pop said you, it was a lady. Like, That's crazy. What's that wrong with you? You back on out as soon as you uh saw the lady leave. Y'all? <laughs> Did y'all see that episode of Medea? One of the movies she, I think it's a movie, not, a, not her play, but the movie. Well, Medea had, somebody had the car. Uh, um, they got a parking space. And they, they, I think they beat Medea too, the high heaven went down. Or either Medea beat them to the fucking space. Whatever, I forgot. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And Medea, or either that white woman, it was a white lady. Sorry, I put a buzz. Had Medea call, uh, told, or Medea had, I think Medea had her car. I think that's what it was. She cut Medea off. And she had like a little Porsche with, a, with, a, with the top down. And beat Medea, you and knowing Medea old Cadillac. And beat Medea to that parking space, y'all, I think. And then next thing you know, Medea, something, you know, Medea, you know how she do out, you know, everything bouncing hell, everything bouncing child, and twins bouncing and everything, child. She went ahead, she went and got her a god dog on me, tow truck, and had to, had to call up in the air and move the car. I say, now see, some people will probably go through those lengths. What if, if Miss Polly knew somebody who had a tow truck, a rucker, rucker truck? What if she herself had her own business and knew how to do it? Child, she would have been two through. With her in there, sitting there doing absolutely what? Nothing. You're right. Child. <laughs> Child. Sometimes people got to have it, though. Sometimes the Lord will, will let you have it. For real. I thought that was so funny. Not funny, but... It ain't funny at all because I can I can attest to how she felt. We rude for no reason. What type of person are you? Just mean spirited. People, some people get a kick out of being ugly. That 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 gives them a rise. Sorry, it does. It gives a man a rise and gives some women a tingle to be ugly and dirty. They do. You can't tell me I know it does. You can see people. I watch. I'm, I'm like Tricky B. I'm like a low key investigator. I'm a low key people watcher, and I don't mean looking for them bad. I, I'm very observant for the most part. I am. And you just see things, you know, about folk, you know, like. Mm -mm. Ooh, yeah. Excuse me, y'all. Man, I'm full. Y'all, I ate all of it today. I got that little bit left. But, y'all go check out my girl, Polly's World. 
her and her family. I believe she uploads every day, I believe. And she's always doing the challenges from Epic Empire and all the rest of them. Like me. You know, I was just thinking, come on here, child. This, this look horrible on my eyebrow. I was seeing people staring at me like, what is wrong with her face? What her, her eyebrow? Only people who have had this done know what it is. My little, my little play daughter, my job. Her name is Gabby. There's two of Gabby's, but this is the older one. They're not sisters, they're just co-workers, but they're both my little daughters. And it's the oldest Gabby. I call her, send money now. Send money now. She told her baby daddy, send money now. Boy, when he told me that, I hooped and hollered. When she was off one day, she was getting her nails done, hair done, something. And he told me that she said, send money now. <laughs> send the money now. So her nickname is, send money now. But anyway, uh, she, my, my little daughter, play daughter Gabby was saying, Oh, mama, you got your, uh, and she got me mama, even though I'm not her mom. So, oh, mama, you got your, you got your, your eyebrows microbladed? I said, yeah, because now it looks real bad. So, only people who have had this, this, like, procedure done would know what it is. It's really like scab, y'all. So, we don't want to discuss that because we're trying to eat our food. I know we full, we might be ready to go, but still, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want y'all thinking about it. But hopefully, it'll be cleared up soon, child. But anyway, this will conclude another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Y'all, don't forget to like. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Skirt, skirt, skirt. I think I've been telling y'all that I'm getting a 350 or an um E50 camera. Have I been have I been saying that or have I been saying I'm getting I'm gonna be getting an M50? Because M50 is what it is, child. I went to Best Buy today, and I said, let me go and find out so we can go in Best Buy now. We can go and go in. We ain't got to stay outside, even though we got to be masked. We do. And social, dis social distancing, we do. I said, let me go on in on this 4th of July holiday, and let me go see what type of uh, camera it really is. Because I don't know why I kept saying E50. E50. Like I was trying to say E40. You know, not, not the, 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 the rapper or the singer E40. But I said E50. So I don't think that's right. But he said, no, it's not E50. It's called, it's M50. So if I've been saying anything other than E50, anything other than, see, there I go again. If I've been saying anything other than M50, y'all forgive him. Y'all forgive him. Trouble to my mind, child. Not my whole child. Your girl going to try to go get her an M, see, I'm about to say it again, E. M50, Canon M50, child. Mirrorless something. Oh boy. So anyway, so y'all don't forget to like, comment, and share. Share on every social media platform and subscribe so that you, you, and you can become an official Lee Shelley Ann. And ding, don't ding. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Click up so that you can be reminded of every, every time your girl uploads a video. Okay, and be quick with it. La 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 la. All right, Lee Shellians. Bye. See y'all later. And your girl loves y'all. Okay. Peace.